Hello and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Model Railroading. For New Item Wednesday we have a small selection. Okay, first up is the baggage car for the, for the Milwaukee Road Hiawatha. This has the correct light colored roof for the um, set we reviewed in an earlier episode. You'll notice that the wheels, a couple of the wheel sets have come loose, not a big deal, and the trucks weren't damaged this time, so I'm happy about that. Also got in the Kato fuel tank for the E8s. We'll be using that in the EA project. And we also got in the gold trucks for the special edition Santa Fe Gold Bonnet PA locomotive, both front and rear. That's all I have for New Item Wednesday. I'll be back in a moment after I clear this off and we'll go ahead and work on the um, Cotto PA. Okay. This is going to be our PA-1 AT and SF Gold Bonnet project. Now, there is a chassis here. It's sitting under this locomotive. It's a, this is a PA-1 chassis with a Fairbanks Morse Erie built shell on top. And I basically rebuilt this the chassis thinking that I could probably use it to uh, make a sea liner now this one had damaged stirrups which I fixed with uh, gold metal models stirrups I don't know the part number and I seem to have mislaid the uh, information for that Now, the reason why we're going to use this chassis is because the wheels, when they pivot, and I don't know how good this is going to show up, will be striking the stirrups, limiting their radius, particularly on the rear one. Now, I've got other plans for this shell now. So let's get the chassis out. There it comes. There's the chassis. Let's set the shell aside. And the chassis has been machined on several times. Once to fit the uh, around the nose here to, to fit the shell, the sea liner shell. And then the reason why the this was set aside, this chassis was set aside in the first place. I was putting sand in a, another PA, and the hole, speaker hole, we managed to drill that off center, and to, wound up being too small for the speaker. So I decided I'd get another chassis, strip it down, put move the. Uh, Mechanicals over to that chassis after I sent that off to have it professionally machined Okay, so Got the shell got parts to rebuild the chassis let's go ahead and start With our project I'm going to start on the trucks here and first thing we're going to do is remove the old trucks. Now they'll just drop right out. There's some latches each side right behind the contacts. See if I can. Yeah, you can barely see it right behind the front contact here. So let me drop the trucks and we'll slide the new ones in place 
Be back in a few. And I'm back. All right. Yep, the truck is out. Okay, and it looks like it's undamaged. Now, <clears throat> get that. Uh, don't know when the these old trucks are looking a little dry. We'll see what we got when we look at the new ones. Okay, this is going to be the rear truck. It has the little gold coupler on it. Okay. Yeah, it's dry looking. We're going to put a little bit of lube on it and run it back and forth, spread the lube out. Just a touch. Just a touch. And we'll run it back and forth. There's a little bit on the main gear. That'll get. Yeah. There's a little bit on the main gear when we run it on the track. It'll transfer to the worm gear and help lube that. Well, what you got to do is just slide this up in there and make certain that it comes up in, in these and make certain that the contact strips here, little copper barbs sticking up, come in in these gaps so that way they'll come up and hit the bottom of the contact strip transfer electrical power yeah it got okay and it just snaps right in And it's in. All right. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, front truck is on. Everything's the way it should be. Now, let's go ahead and test it on the track here. Make sure it's going to work. Okay, we're on the track and ready to test it out. Let's go ahead and go, be in reverse and then forward. Okay. Looks like it's running fine, it's ready for DCC. Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and put the start putting the DCC decoder in. First thing we want to do is pop this uh, tab off. A little gray tab right here holds the motor contact stand and the circuit board on the thing. We'll just take that off, set that aside. Okay, flip these up and out the way. Slide this board forward a bit and lift up. Okay, you're taking off the board and you're ready for the next step. Now, next step would be to take the contact strips here and mark them where the motor contacts rise up next to them 
so we know where we need to put our insulating tape. A mark here and here. Good old Sharpie will do the trick. Okay. To insulate it, we will be using this captain tape and we'll just first pop one off. Okay. Don't want to mess it up too much or alter it. You want to cut a strip off tape like that Am I working on oh, I was working on the wrong side tape Let's try cutting it again. Okay. Now this tape is pre-slit down the middle, so we're only going to pull half the strip off. Now it's very important on how we wrap this. This came off the engineer side the locomotive so we want to make sure we wrap it I'm wrong. I'm sorry we want to make sure we wrap this so that it actually wraps around the outside edge of the locomotive. Fold it over like that. Okay. Rub it down. Okay. You want to really get it nice and tight so it fits in you know, what you want is something that looks like that you want the excess to be on the inboard side so that way the, you have it wrapped on the edge here to eliminate that potential contact and then you Trim this back. Like that. There's the excess off, and you've got a wrapped um, contact strip ready for install. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back in. And I do these one at a time so I don't mess up which side because when you trim it, trim that excess off on that inside, you're also kind of exposing the contact strip. And if it happens to catch that exposed surface, you're going to fry that, mo that decoder. Line it up like that. There's a little hole. You line up with the nub and it's installed. Okay. Okay, I am having some lighting issues apparently. So just bear with me. Alright. And I'll be back in a few while I do go off camera and do the other one. And I've got the uh, strip in, insulated in. Show you here. Let 
Okay. Now, time for the fun. We're going to slide the board in. Let's bring it right down. There, there, line up the contacts with the brass strips. Slide it back, and that'll latch it in place. Now you notice that this has solder on it. It came from a unit that has been converted to sound. And this one is an NCE. An N12K0 decoder. Now this is the PA version. So, okay, now we want to fold contacts over. Okay, put a little Solder flux on here. Oh, oh, oh. I was moving it so slowly I didn't notice. Good lord. Okay, sorry about that. Just go ahead and put it on both. Plunge her back. Set it. Wipe it off. Set it aside. <clears throat> okay. A little bit of solder if we need it. Clean the tip. Nice and shiny. Okay. What I'm going to do is. Tip of my knife, force it. Well, let's rotate this. Okay, let's do that. Bring that down. Bring that on. There we go, that's one. Okay, bring it around. Heat the solder up, let it cool, bring the other one off, and it is looking good. Put that back, turn off the soldering iron. I'm a little bit paranoid about that. Make sure it's off. Put that back. All right. And there it is. It's soldered in. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere, so we really don't need to put the tab back in. Some people do. Uh, I found that it won't stay for nothing. All right, let's put it on the test track and test it. Be back in a moment. Here's our current project sitting on, on the uh, track, ready to be tested. Okay, let's go ahead and select it. Loco 3 Loco. Let's try the headlight. Works, that's a good sign. Let's go forward. That's a good sign. And reverse. Okay. Okay. The final step is just to put the shell on. Make sure that's going to seat right. Just bring it on. Nice and gentle. You don't want to get too rough and bust detail. Okay. It's latched, it's holding up, and there you have it. 
we now have one Alco PA1 Santa Fe Gold Bonnet Locomotive. All right. Well, thank you for watching. If you stuck with it this far, I appreciate that. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you please hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bar button if you want notifications. And as always, thank you for sharing. See you at trackside.